lot of people don't know, the Greek cuisine has a lot of grilled meat, like pork, lamb, and intestine. Nick's parents took us to this grilled meat restaurant. Uh, let's dig it. Spicy cheese dip. Fries. Fried zucchini. Skewer meat? Yeah, this is podosugli. It's like a huge pot skewer meat that we let grill for hours mm. uh, in this rotisserie. Uh, and it becomes very soft. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's different organs um, inside and outside is the intestines that basically. I have to say, for someone who eats intestine a lot in Korean and Chinese cuisine, I this is still too strong for me, so I had to pass on it. But the pork dish was, I think, our favorite. Let me wrap it. Then go on the other side and then put it very She's not eating. You see how she's putting back her head back into the shell? Hmm. She doesn't want it. We just walked by on the street. It's the central plaza behind. Wow, the head? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. And what's this in the bottom? Um, it looks like the pork meat we had, no? Maybe it's the other one, the... Yeah, that one. Mm. And is that a roasted entire lamb or pig? It looks like a pig. Yeah. Oh, and that's lamb a lamb. Is yeah. Oh, it touched the paper. So today we come to Mani Mani. I think Mani is a city that's close to Crete Island. So we're experiencing this cuisine. Of course we have to get fava. Wow, it's warm. And this is our home. They make their bread. Mm, they always come with um, this bread and olive olives and um, I think that's the butter from sheep no. has arrived. This is stuffed rooster. It's very interesting. It's stuffed with um, cheese, smoked pork, leek, and a mushrooms inside and baby potatoes around. And outside this is the beef sauce and some cream. I think the stuffed rooster is only is a very Cretan cuisine. Um, I'm excited to try. Looks very delicious. Is seafood orzo? Orzo is uh, short, like the rice shaped pasta uh, with shrimp, mussels, calamari, and um, yeah, it looks really good. We will give it a go. The inside is pork, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was my Amazing. idea to order this, and Nichols took my entree, mm. as always. Mm. You like this too. <laughs> Very good. I have to say, like the sauce of this reminds me of Thai green curry, like something in the Thai herbs that provides some cooling effect. For anyone who's uh, interested in the Cretan Island cuisine, we definitely recommend this. Uh, it's actually so good. We came back again and ordered the same dish. 
Uh, as you can see, we decided to finish the seafood dish first and then attack the rooster and pork dish. It's, uh, we made fava a lot after we came back to done? the States. Hmm? Are you done? No, we still have sauce. We came to Acropolis. Uh, Acropolis means the highest point of the city. You can see it actually from every corner of Athens. Uh, it overlooks the entire city of Athens. Acropolis was built 500 uh, BC and it was not built for religious purpose, but it was built to worship Athena, the goddess. Uh, in the Greek mythology because she has bravery, wisdom, and many amazing characteristics. And this temple was an old Athena um, temple. But later on, it evolved, obviously, um, for people to gather. This is where philosophers have debate. Uh, this is for people to gather, exchange their thoughts. And this is also where the Athenians built their democratic system. The Acropolis went through the war with Persians and fire and many, actually many wars. Um, so there are a lot of restoration work that's still ongoing. After visiting the archaeology site, we came to the new Acropolis Museum. The museum was built in 2009 and opened to the public, uh, but the design process was very interesting because they ran a competition for the design. The awarded design was at the end to be entirely based upon the archaeology, uh, um, the architecture of Parthenon, and it's overviewed by the Parthenon Temple. And these are the these are the statue that was in the archaeology site. We came back home. Um, Nick's mom made a very typical Greek family dinner for us. Uh, she went to the market and picked the red snapper for us and made some fries, uh, Greek salad. It's a very nice uh, summer dinner and with fresh grilled fish with lemons, of course. We have come here, it's just called the fish shop, very straightforward names, and Nico's got a great menu. They also have another menu on the side, how they write up. The first dish arrived, I think we always go with fava, and they served us bread um, to dip in. Do you want to dig in? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think scallions and dill, I think I saw dill. And some yeah, peppers. Big bite. Mm -hmm. mm. How is it compared to the baba yesterday? It's amazing. I really like it a lot. Really? I'm not a. It's we're. A, it's a little warm. Mm. Neither of us are is like a big fan of anchovies, but I'll give it a try. It's going well. Really? It's going well here, yeah. Okay. It's the only place inside. This is their kitchen. This is all their kitchen. But then it has a few tables on this little alley outside. And there's only one other table inside. This is the second dish, it's cod with 
cordalga. Uh, the garlic sauce. Yeah, and the, the cod is fried. And cordalga is right there. It's a very popular Greek sauce. Uh, it's like puree. And it's made by combining crushed garlic with a base of uh, potatoes, walnuts, almonds, and a little bread. So the cod is actually quite salty to me because it's also deep fried. Uh, however, I think the most interesting thing is the garlic uh, potato dip that you can dip in for the fish. It goes very well with the cod. Um, the pickled roasted pe pepper actually cleans your palate very well as well. Um, so it's a very... If you just eat the fish itself, it's not that impressive, but the combination is, is truly amazing. Mm. It is a little salty, like you said. It is, yeah. Like the way they make cod in Greece is that they add, uh, they put it in a bucket of water and then they change the water a few times. Okay. downtown Athens is uh, very pretty. This is a very Instagram cafe, I think. It's a very famous cafe in Athens. They decorate their cafe, I think, with different theme. Um, when we were there, this is Alice in Wonderland theme uh, that they decorate together. We come to the Erodio Theatre. This is one of the most famous ancient Greek theatre and they have music performance during the summer. 